it's MK. Welcome back for this short sim series video on repositioning. So I have addressed repositioning a couple of other times I think, but it's one of those situations that just kind of throws people, especially with beginners I find. I was working on a quilt this week in my studio and it was an inside fit pantograph technique. In that technique I normally mark my start point for the next pass before I advance. Well, I had forgotten this on this particular quilt to do that. So I had to find another way to reposition because I didn't want to roll back after I had already advanced and basted and clamped and all of those things. So I'm going to show you a really quick technique in this video that I use frequently to find myself a start point, reposition, and get myself going again or find another start point, what have you. You're going to see how simple it is. So I'm going to meet you inside a simulation and then I'll meet you right back here. So basically I'm working this beautiful quilt today. It's a Jelly Roll Races quilt and I'm working an inside fit pantograph with two borders. Okay. And I'm chunking both of the borders and I'm doing this inside fit technique. Well, I have advanced my quilt and I forgot to get myself a start point before I advanced. That is typically my approach to advancing. I want to find a start point, mark it with a pin or a marker mark, and then advance, and then reposition on that start point. But I forgot to this time. Okay, well, no problem. All I'm going to do is I am going to find a spot in this pantograph that's going to be an easy spot for me to locate and reposition on. And this is kind of a feather feather pattern and I'm hoping that you can see. But this pass right here is the last pass that I did before I advanced. There's my rail. Okay, so the point that I think that I can easily find is that point right there. And that's going to help me get repositioned. What I think I'm going to do from here on out, I'm going to take you inside a simulation and do this really quickly because it'll be easier for me to have my hands available. But you guys just imagine that we're standing here at this quilt and we're ready to, to get ourselves repositioned. Okay, I'll meet you inside simulation. All right, here we are inside a simulation and what you're looking at on the screen is a line drawing visually representing the quilt that you just saw in that little spoken intro that I did. So what you have to do for me today is do a little bit of imagining. You have to imagine that we are advanced to the point where we were in the spoken intro. Okay, so this, this last pass that I stitched right here, that's pretty close up against the rail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my inside panto. And this is a design that I had already set up in simulation doing my layout and rendering skills, techniques, okay? And if you want those techniques, that those are all inside of my layout and rendering series on my hosting site. But let's just go ahead and open up this pantograph. Now, what happened on the screen is pretty much going to be what happens with you at your machine. You're standing there, you open up the pattern, and you're not exactly sure where that pattern is positioned. It's it's really not positioned at this point. It's just opened, and it's it just opened some place on the screen. So the first thing we're going to do really simply is we're going to grab our machine, and we're going to come onto the quilt and I'm purposely going to do this over towards the right hand side of the quilt just to kind of prove my point today that it initially does not matter where I position this. Okay, so I'm grabbing my machine. I'm coming over towards the right hand side of the quilt and it's a little muddled for you to see right now, but basically I'm placing my quilt kind of close up to the rail and close to the bottom of that last pass that I stitched. Okay, machine's in position. This pantograph is open. Now I'm just going to do modify, reposition, and I'm just going to reposition it on the start point. Okay, so basically that just took the pattern from, you know, hanging out there in outer space, wherever it was, and it zeroed it in and positioned it exactly where my machine was. Okay, now that it's not flying around in outer space, now I can see it. Now I know where it is. 
now it's going to be easier for me to find a start point. Okay, and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see this. And if you have to zoom at your machine, then you can do that as well. A lot of times at my machine, I will use the follow button also. That helps me to zero in precisely where I'm working. Okay, all right, so we, we're at our our pattern now. What we're going to do now is we're going to move our machine down to that point. And it was this point that I told you in the spoken intro that I was going to try to reposition on. Okay, it's a little difficult for me here in simulation, so let me just zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to try to hit that point as close as I can. I'm going to get my simulator into position as close as I can. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to do Pro Stitcher, new start and end. Now you would be doing this at your quilt, remember. Pro Stitcher, new start and end. And I'm going to do start auto on, start auto off. And I'm going to again zoom in if I need to and see that I, that I got the mark there. I hit the mark with my start circle is right on that little point. Okay, now the easiest thing to do at your machine is to go ahead and hit refresh. And what that will do is it brings everything back onto the screen for you, but it also turns off your follow feature. Okay, so that's kind of a new thing in premium that I actually really like. When, when you hit refresh, if you were in follow mode, it will turn the follow mode off. Okay, all right, so now we're going to take our machine and we're going to move it back over here right on top of that point. Now, remember folks, I'm in simulation, so it's really hard for me to see, but you would be doing this at your quilt. So this would be stitching right here. So that would be very easy for you to spot, okay? So you're going to move your machine right on top of that point that you have already stitched, okay? And I'm trying to hit it as close as I can in simulation. Once I get my machine in position, I'm just going to do, again, modify, reposition, and I'm going to reposition it on that start point that I created. Okay, and I'm going to hit, actually I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so that you can see this. Okay, so what you're looking at now is that first row of the pattern that we opened. It's kind of positioned right on top of something that we've already stitched. Well, clearly we don't want to stitch that again, but now we're perfectly positioned. And what that buys us is the opportunity now to see this next start spot. Uh, start point right there. That's really what I meant to mark before I advanced, but I forgot. Okay, so now I'm, I'm kind of just backing my way into what I should have done before I advanced. Okay, so now that start point should be perfectly in position. Well, now I need to get myself to that start point because that's not where I am right now. I'm on a pass that I've already stitched. Okay, we can do that. Let's go to Pro Stitcher, New Start and End, and let's just use our jump arrows down here at the bottom and we're just going to jump to that next start point. Okay, now this next step, just kind of think about this and it, it should make sense to you. And let me just pan over a little bit so that you can see. So I repositioned on the first, the first row. I jumped ahead now to the second row, which basically means that this first row I don't need anymore. So why don't we really quickly get rid of it? Let's just do modify, crop, and let's use our start and end crop feature. And now that row that we used to position ourselves that was very helpful, now we don't need it anymore, so we got rid of it. And now I am perfectly in position to go ahead and complete my next set of passes. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. Basically what I just showed you was a little bit of instruction that I do inside of my layout and rendering number one online class. Okay, and again remember in that class we go through a lot of steps with the layout. How I use simulation to do the layout to get myself prepped for when I'm actually going to stitch. But this repositioning uh, technique right here is, is is one of the ways that I show you from within that class using simulation as a tool to show you how I would actually do repositioning at the quilt. Okay, so check out those classes if you want. I hope that this little tip has been helpful. So there you have it. Very, very simple technique to just take that pattern, position it any old place.
doesn't really matter where you initially position it. Just get it into view. Get it centered where you are. Find a spot on that pattern. Match that spot to a, an already existing spot that you've already stitched. Position on that spot and then you're good to go. You can back up and find another start point, start point rather. You can go forward and find another start point. You can do some cropping at that point to get rid of things that you don't need. Just find a spot, lay it down on top of something that already exists, position it right there, and you are good to go. All right, everybody, I hope that was helpful. And until next time, from, let me get my hair out of the way, from my studio to yours. Happy quilting, everybody. Bye-bye.